Pace Road. Um, obviously a 3 0 start. You had a 3 0 start as well in 2020. Can you sort of, and you know, we know what happened that year, can you sort of compare then and now? How do you think you're looking? Uh, no, I'm, I've never compared years or seasons. I'm, I'm happy with three, and three wins out of three starts. I'm really happy with that. I think what was most pleasing today is that it was more of a third quarter effort than the previous two days. So I think that we did a good job of, of, of the work rate and sticking to our game and what we're doing out there today than we had in the previous two years. And that's what it's about, improving and going each week. The Giants also had like three pretty good players come back in, but it was potentially a little bit underdone. Is there any discussion about working them sort of, you know, really hard kind of no, knowing that at all? No, you never know. You know, when you're playing Giants, you know that they're, they're a good, hard team and it doesn't matter what um, disadvantage they may have or what hardship they might have, they're going to fight you every step of the way. And, and they did that today. You mentioned the um, complete performance there as well. What do you think sort of changed to ensure that you do get that across four quarters? Oh, look, it's a... It's probably a combination of things, but it was a commitment during the week to recognise that we stray from what we do well and that we're not stuck to what we do well and our strengths, particularly when challenged. So um, it was recognising that today, no matter what, no matter what the challenge or the situation, we will play our game and we'll play the full throttle and um, without fear. Kira Austin against their old team. I don't know if that was discussed all, but how did you see her game? She obviously handled thought, it pretty well. I thought she did super well. And it, it's a first full, full game at, at, uh, in Suncourt Super Netball since last season. So I thought she did super well. She creates space. She's got great smarts. So, and I think that's a really big step again for Kira in her, in her return. And uh, the co-captain as well, Kate Maloney, a big game, leading from the front. How, how are you saying sort of her game? Well, Kate's, Kate's Kate week in, week out. She did everything she's got to the group and, um, and I thought she did a really, a really strong game effort. Thought, really, particularly working in our defensive unit, there was some great pressure out the front and really helped the defence back there. You got a um, sharp turnaround before the next game as well. What's, is, is the focus just on recovery now? How do you kind of prepare for that? It is recovery. It's having a rest, having a switch off. So the girls will have um, tomorrow off and we will come back in together on Monday and do their recovery treatments that are needed and a bit of a touch on the balls maybe and prep for Tuesday. The girls are quite comfortable with midweek games and backing up. They don't, they quite enjoy it. They figure it's easier to train them sometimes. So. Uh, how nice is it to be back in Melbourne as well? Oh, it's been super nice. We enjoy being on the road um, this first couple of rounds, but to be back in at John Kane Arena, have our supporters. We've had two weeks of listening to opposition crowds, so to have been in front of our own supporters in our home, everybody was super excited about it all throughout the day, and um, it's been great to be here today. Yeah, guys, do you have any questions? Um, I was going to say, round three and four are heritage rounds. What does uh, uh, Melbourne Vixens mean to you? Oh, I love the Melbourne Vixens. It's a, bit, a huge part of Victorian netball. You know, I played with the Phoenix and I was part of the Keshkul's Phoenix era, but it's just a representation of the work um, of netball Victoria and Victorian netball, and, and we represent that in the Suncross Super Netball, and I think there's just so many people, players, coaches, that have contributed, you know, whether Keshkul's, Phoenix, and teams even before, that have all contributed and helped us become the team that we are today. So you mentioned playing with Thea earlier, or playing, sorry, I can't remember your great uh, playing fearlessly. Um, how are you going to come up against the Viva if you're playing fearlessly? Um, again, play uh, our game, be really clear on what we want to do and how we're going to do it. And um, there's nothing easy about playing Fever at any time. Um, but we've got to enjoy the challenge, we've got to enjoy every game we, we play. We've got to enjoy it because that's what we want to be the best. So you know, they're playing super netball at the moment. So we go with it bravely and fearlessly and, and back ourselves.